my name is Christian and welcome to my first video tutorial uh, today I will be making this picture here um, me in the park sonic ball ball of speed something uh, and I will be using this picture here uh, double click on layer to unlock it go to image image rotations 90 degrees CW which is to the right and yeah you, I will use selection tool here I normally don't use it but the lines are pretty clear here so I gave it a try and it worked uh, quickly and roughly just select the area like this you can see it's finding it pretty good uh, like this Normally, I would just I would zoom in and change every single pixel, but this is maybe the fifteenth time I'm doing this because my recorder won't save it. So hopefully it will now. <laughs> yeah, um, I made up my mind. I will make a tutorial, so I'm trying until it works. <laughs> Like that, and yeah, like this looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to use this. Oh, like that. Press Command J to duplicate the layer out of this, but I'm still in the original layer. Um, I am going to warp it. When I made this picture, I made it in CS5, so I selected this area here, um, which is me, on the layer 1, the duplicated layer. And then I went to edit and puppet warp. Uh, get away! <laughs> uh, then I made a point here, here, and here, and dragged the foot up. Really cool tool. Try it out if you can. Uh, if you can't or can't, um, press Command T, right click, go to warp, and just work with the foot, drag it up bit by bit, making it look good. Uh, which is the closest thing to puppet warp for me or the one I chose to go with on this one um, yeah just work with it until you think it looks good press ok deselect and do the same thing on this part here, just to make me look more like of a like a ball, um, dragging my parts closer to my body. That looks pretty good. And now, press Command and click on the thumbnail picture here. Uh, deselect the eye. And as you can see, you have bits of me outside the line here. So press Command Shift I to invert the selection. As you can see, you now have the outer area selected. Uh, go to stamp, stamp tool here with a brush which is soft uh, go to the background layer and I'm gonna use this line here just make it right press alt and start working I'm gonna use the line here as well so it looks natural 
uh, and this person make it a little more difficult but just work with this uh, dark body you won't really notice any difference hopefully uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I mentioned my shortcut but as you can see I'm moving the brush size up and down real quick by not going here and that's because I use my shortcut by pressing command alt shift and K uh, go to tools here go to the bottom uh, go to decrease decrease brush size increase brush size here make it whatever you want to and yeah just make the workflow a little quicker I love using shortcuts and the letters on the keyboard instead of going into this because everything is quicker that way so yeah just go like this yeah like this Mm -hmm. Take away the shoe tip here. And here I will, if we turn on this layer again, you can see that the shadow would be starting here. So I'm just going to use part of this shadow press command J uh, you know how this on its own layer so take it over here press command J uh, command T warp and just drag it into place like that and take away okay press command E to merge it with the layer below um, like this and finish it off Like this, and uh, now I will duplicate the layer with me on it by pressing Command J. Turn off the eye just to have the correct uh, layer uh, in case I mess up this one. Uh, layer one, go to Filter, uh, Blur, Motion Blur, uh, zero degrees angle, and distance 15 pixels. Press OK. Make a duplicate of the correct layer here. Turn on the eye. Uh, go to filter, styles or stylies or whatever it's called. I'm not English. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, go to wind, wind from the right, which you can see the preview of here. Go to OK. Uh, a new copy of this one. Turn on the eye. All. Make sure you have the correct layers uh, selected, really important. Um, and here we will make the shadow behind me. So press Command T, uh, zoom a little out, uh, touch the uh, point here, hold Alt and drag it. And right there I will be letting go pressing enter and removing the front part of me like this and then I will be move I will move this part so it's almost fitting 
press command T warp again take this corner here drag it up so it matches my original body same with the foot like this and turn the opacity down to 34 percent like that and go to filter go to wind which is the last filter we used or press command F just make a little difference here as well um, as you can see it's a huge white part here I don't like at all so take a soft brush uh, 200 or not brush but the deleting brush the eraser tool 200 soft delete the bottom part here and the part here because as you can see now it will fade slowly into me instead of having this harsh line here so looks more natural uh, that. and I will add, be adding one more layer command J have it selected turn the opacity down to 20 Four, like this and there we go it's not more difficult I did it a, a bit quick sorry about that but as I said it's the 15th time so I'm getting a little tired of it <laughs> but uh, if you want to change the color you can press command U turn the saturation a little up just to make me more colorful you can do the same with the background layer uh, go to adjustments go to levels pull this baby a little up go back go to curves you can drag it maybe yeah a little down here like this and there we go here we have it and thank you for watching this was my first tutorial so hope you enjoyed it there will be more um, and see you later.